Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to use the new PDF document generator. So don't leave and learn Manixit. So to start, we are going to the marketplace and search for PDF document and click in PDF document generation. Click to download. Add as a new module and click import. And click OK. Now go to settings, runtime, and click to select on the field after startup, click select and search for ASU and select the one that is inside the document generation module. So SAU document generation initialize and click OK. Now go to security, user role, administrator, module roles edit and now search for the document generation inside the marketplace modules and select administrator and user click ok ok again so currently in this project i only have one entity called request this entity uh, have two attributes one name one status this enumeration have two values one is draft and the second is submitted regarding access rules i only have one for the user module rule and this user have access to create and delete objects and also to read and write both attributes now you can go to the page that you want to export in my case i'm going to use the request new edit page so i'm going to remove save and cancel buttons and now go to properties, go to the styling tab and select the option enable PDF exports and select yes. Page orientation, select the, the one that makes sense for you. In my case, I'm going to select portrait. Page size, I'm going to select A4 and then select the page numbers uh, as a yes. So it will result in a few classes for your page, which should be similar to this one. And now you can create a new microflow. So click to add microflow and give the name doc request open page. Click OK. Give permissions to this microflow. And also make sure that the page you, you want to export also have permissions. So you can go to properties and make sure that is visible for the user. And here we are going to the toolbox, select the show action, show page, double click, select the page you want to export, request new edit. In my case, I also need to pass an argument. So I'm going to add a new parameter called request and click OK. And now select the arguments inside the action show page. Select request and OK. Now we can create another microflow called ACT request generate PDF and click OK. In this one, we're going to the toolbox and search for generate PDF from page. Double click. Inside the page microflow, you can select the one we just created. Context object, we need to retrieve the request object. So you can pass as a parameter this time. So select request, 
and now you can use inside the generate pdf from each action so context object select request and now for the result entity we need to go back to the domain model create a new entity call it pdf file and select the file document entity as a generalization here you don't need to add new attributes just change the access rules to this user Allow to create new objects and delete and also give read and write access click ok now you can go back to the microflow double click result entity you can select pdf file and change the name of the final pdf so i'm going to write pdf test if you scroll down you have a few more options so settings generate as a user you can select the current user and wait for result you can select true you have a description here so you can change it regarding your case object name you can also change to the pdf file and click ok go back to the toolbox search for downloads and select the download file action double click file document select pdf file now i'm going to the overview add a new button inside this data grid select action double click change the name to generate pdf on click event i'm going to select column microflow and select the ACT request generate PDF and click OK. Make sure that everything have permissions. So the ACT should also have the permissions from the user. Double check the talk and also both pages. Before we run the project, you should go to request new edit and change the layout type of the page so select responsive and then layout select the document generation default and you can run the project login as mx admin so with this user you cannot generate a pdf you need to have an account in this case, I'm going to use the DEM administrator and select one of the requests and click generate PDF. As you can see, it exports exactly the page that we have. And to confirm, you can go to the project and then go to the page we want to see and change it to design mode. As you can see, the only thing we have in this page is exactly the two fields. We can change a little bit the structure. So add a container to this page and drag and drop the data view inside the container. Go to properties and change the style of the data view. So we are going to give some inner medium spacing. And now you can go to the container and also change the spacing to outer medium. Select a new background color. In my case, I'm going to select background secondary, shade, light, add shadow, medium. If you change again to design mode, you can see that now we have like a card around the fields. So if we run the project again, we should see on the final PDF. Click on one of the objects and click to generate. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. -bye.